Good morning, welcome to the shed. So uh, we are continuing our series of uh, essential workbench equipment today. Um, so I built the uh, bench hook in the last one. Today I'm going to be building a shooting board. Now I'm sure you know what a short shooting board is, but if you don't, it's basically a board of which you can, uh, along which you can run your plane. Uh, let's uh, move you over to the bench and I'll show you. So a shooting board is used for squaring up edges or ends of boards. So the idea is you have a flat surface, a nice straight edge, which obviously isn't there yet, and you run the plane along it, and uh, it wouldn't work with this one actually because that's a full width blade, but you get the idea. Uh, against a square edge, and you can trim up, and it'll square up your boards in the vertical and also in whatever the other angle is, the 90 degree angle basically. Um, okay, so the plan is, normally what you would do is stack, uh, to get your edge, you would normally stack two boards on top of each other, like so, and the plane would run along the edge, and your board would be here and get trimmed. However, my boards are quite thick, so what I've decided to do is, cut the groove using the tail table saw because I've got a nice straight uh, flat cut as wide as my saw will go that will give me somewhere to run the plane uh, and then we'll put a fence in we're also going to do a uh, 45 degree fence as well using a wedge system so first job is to go and cut these boards uh, I haven't quite got my measurements in my head yet but I'll probably make it up as I go along it'll be fine okay so a couple of pieces of wood that's my uh, track for my uh, plane to, to run down. The important edge is this one has to be nice and straight, which it is. Um, I've cut an end piece which is going to be fixed on there to go in the vise, like so, or even hook over the edge of the bench. Um, and then I've also cut two wedges which are going to be my uh, fences as it were. So I'm going to clean those up quickly now, get them nice and exact, and then we've got to cut a really accurate line across here to get our square that's the important one and then we're going to do a 30 degree one here sorry 45 degree one here and here so i can use the same wedge and flip it either way okay let's uh clean up these two wedges first of all it's a bit harsh very harsh Two exact wedges. I made that far more difficult than it should have been. Uh, the screws were too thick for the holes and they weren't pulling against the board. So I ended up drilling out all of the holes a bit so I could use smaller screws. Anyway, that's all nice and tight now. Okay. Okay, that's the board done. The basic bit. Uh, now we've got to attempt to cut our uh, mortises, I guess you'd call them, for our um, wedges to go in there. Really important to get this cut right, that's the, the important bit. Uh, the reason we use wedges is because you can adjust them. If, if you've got your uh, angles wrong or if they wear out, they are basically um, a sacrificial wedge. So those, that one's going to go like that. We'll do that one first because, uh, yeah, that's the easier one hopefully. So I need to 
cut a mortise for this uh, wedge. It's got to be dead square with this, this side here. Hopefully my square is square. So I'm just gonna sort of get my proportions correct before I actually draw a knife line in there. We can trim the wedge down if we need to, as long as we've got the angle correct. Um, that should be good. Okay, so that gives us enough meat on the back there for the wedge to get tapped in. So all we've got to do is cut a knife wall in there. I think I might change my blade. Now's a good time. chisel. Hopefully I'm going to have to turn this round. Okay, that's a good straight edge there. Good so far. Then we get one of our wedges. As I say, they should be the same. So, and we need to just line that. That's not going to be easy to do, is it? Something in there. That's better. That will give me my angle on this side. the same at this end. I could of course have done the straight cut uh, when we come to cut this, could have done that on the table saw, uh, but I think I need the practice with the hand saw, so we'll do that. There, that's not very good. Huh. Not at all. Right, okay, so that's our basic wedge shape. I am going to I'm gonna cut this one out just so that I practice my techniques before I attempt to do the other one. So um, yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. Okay, so successfully cut down there. I'm still learning on the cutting, but I'm getting better. Okay, let's try and chisel out some of that, get rid of most of the waste. At least I can clamp it properly, which is very, very helpful. I uh, should be able to go pretty much all the way there, shouldn't I? You see what I'm doing? Would work. there and come in from the other side just to make sure I'm level clear the mess as you go take off too much in one go there. I 
need a, need a wider chisel as well. Okay, that's the basic channel cut. Now we can use our router plane to clean that up. If you haven't seen the video of me doing this one up, uh, it's probably well, know, a couple, couple of videos ago. Nice little plane. This is one of the ones I got on the uh, market haul. that in. Make sure my saw cuts are still there. Yep. Okay. Oops, that's not working. Quarter of a turn at a time is all it needs. Should come in from that side. Naughty me. I'm learning still. Good. Take it down a little bit more. nice clean channel. I'll just use the chisel just to flatten that off. Chisel point I mean. I haven't quite got the hang of getting this thing out of here yet. Okay, that's pretty good. I keep going over the end, which is a bad thing to do. I've got to try and teach myself that. I think I will go a little bit deeper. I'll do that. Okay, there we go. 
Right, got a lovely uh, clean channel there. Moment of truth. Will the wedge fit? And will it wedge? Okay, wedge. Obviously you've got to trim that a bit, but uh, yep, that wedges. Is it square? That's the other thing we need to check. Beautiful. Square is something square. Okay, I'm going to cut the other channels now. Uh, I will do that on time lapse so you can see me doing it, but uh, it might be a bit boring. Otherwise, trim those wedges and we're good. Okay, so that's that stage done. Turned out good, I learnt a few things. I learnt that you have to make sure you tighten up this, otherwise the blade just keeps digging deeper and deeper and deeper. So I've made one bit there where it's gone a bit too deep. Um, and also on this crossover bit, it started to knock the edges off that. So that's a bit of a problem, but it'd be okay. Also, my wedges are too short, I think. I think they'll be all right, but uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're a bit on the short side. Right, so acid test is if that's a 45 degree angle, it is. And then if that is a 40, uh, sorry, uh, that one is a 45 degree angle. <coughs> it is. And I've already checked this one is a 90. It is. Okay, we've got a shooting board. So I just need to trim my wedges. Uh, give a little bit of a tidy up. It doesn't really matter that it's... Uh, I should wax this bit here uh, so we can uh, give it a test. Uh, the whole place needs to tidy up because I've just got sawdust and bits and bobs everywhere. Okay, let's do that and then I'll be back. Okay, this is the finished item. I had a little bit of trouble with my wedges. I haven't made them big enough, uh, so I might need to revisit that. Um, yeah, okay, so the way it works is this. You take your wedge, oh, also I had to adjust this angle, it wasn't quite right. Don't know how I did that, but anyway. So this wedge goes in there, tap it home with a hammer. Obviously anything protruding will get trimmed anyway. Lay the plane on the side. My technique, by the way, needs improving, so please don't rag on me. Um, yeah, okay, so piece of wood against the uh, fence. There we go. We have a square cut, square both ways hopefully. You can adjust the uh, perpendicular angle by adjusting your blade. In fact that is slightly out so that might be my technique. I've noticed if you get a bit of dirt in here as well it can soon uh, knock you off skew. Right, let's have another go. Yeah I keep, I keep leaning the plane like this which I need to not do. Tell that's better already. Yeah, that's spot on now. I don't suppose you'd be able to see that, but it is spot on. Okay, so that's the uh, the 90 degree angle. The beauty of the wedges is you can, if you've got if your angles are slightly out, you can tweak them. Uh, and have I got this the right way? Yeah, so this is a 45 degree. Tap it into position. I've already actually done one because I was experimenting. Uh, so you do your cut, your mitre cut, and then you can and there we go. 
got a perfect 45 degree angle. I could show you, but I don't suppose you'll be able to see. Uh, <laughs> not easy, this. There you go. And it's also straight that way. The reason I've got another um, wedge channel going back the other way is, it's that way, is if you've got to do something like a, a, win, a, a picture frame where you've got a molding, you need to be going in into the into the mitre, not out, otherwise you'll end up splitting it. So like, like so. I don't suppose I'll ever use this, but I've got it if I need it. Oh. Yeah, my technique, as I say, needs a little bit of improvement. Well, it's not taking anything off, which is good. Okay, there you go. My first shooting board, another little bench project. Obviously, it doesn't look as pretty as my uh, bench hook. But, you know, I couldn't really make it out of plywood. It wouldn't, wouldn't have worked with plywood. I needed the wedges to be long grain. Okay. Okay, so there you go, that's that finished. Um, it's nice to be actually making something. Uh, obviously it's not super pretty, it doesn't really matter. It's a functional piece of kit. Uh, I should probably be hooking that over the end there because I'll be using that quite a lot. If it'll go, yeah it will. Um, yeah, I learned a few things. The wedges aren't quite big enough, should have gone longer and probably a little bit wider just for a bit more strength. But it'll be okay for the moment. I can of course adapt it and open, it, open up the channels a little bit more if I need to. Um, yeah that's it really uh my technique is a bit weird because i'm not uh, i keep leaning the plane bending the plane away which isn't a good thing i need to use the side of the plane as the as the fence as it were so uh yeah i'll practice that and uh we'll be using this i'm sure because it's quite useful for just squaring up small bits of wood and uh, making sure you've got a good good square edge okay thanks very much for watching uh i'll link to the playlist of my uh bench accessories um up here there and uh, please subscribe and do all the usual stuff thanks for watching see you soon